put that sign up in the first place, none of this would have happened, is irrelevant. Uh, what matters is that we've identified the problem mm -hmm. that we caused. And uh, we've caught the menacing ghost. Mm -hmm. Who is actually also a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. But not a very nice police officer. No. Job well done. Good result. Killer Camp premieres Friday, August 5th, only on The CW. Now attend monkeypox emergency as infections spread across Southern California. So is concern among residents, the latest from health experts. A deal is in the works to bring WNBA star Brittany Griner home, along with another American held captive in Russia. But what does Moscow want in return? And extending last call to 4 a.m., some say it's a bad idea, calling it a dangerous experiment. The debate over alcohol sales and safety on our streets now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. Concern is growing tonight about the spread of monkeypox, especially here in Southern California. Cases have more than doubled in just the past week, and many local areas are boosting their response to the virus. California second only to New York in the number of U.S. cases, and many of those are right here in Southern California, with at least 261 just in L.A. County. KTLA 5's Carlos Acero is live in West Hollywood, where residents got an update on the city response tonight. Carlos. Yeah, a decent turnout tonight. Some of the big issues raise access to testing, access to the vaccine, as well as the effectiveness of the vaccine that is currently out there. Also, city officials making a big announcement in regards to a mobile clinic. FDA needs to do a lot more. A town hall to address the growing cases, concerns and frustrations in the West Hollywood community regarding monkeypox. This is an important topic and we need to understand more about it. KTLA's John Finolio moderated the panel of health experts inside council chambers Wednesday night. A primary concern, accessibility to the vaccine. But I'm very disappointed at the way that the public health um, county is actually uh, dealing with the vaccines. So far, the county has received a little more than 24,000 doses, all expected to be administered by the end of the week. The viral infection has more than doubled in L.A. County since last week. Cases now more than 260, all adult men, the majority who identify as gay or bisexual. But officials stress anyone can get it. One of the biggest pieces of misinformation that I hear very regularly is that monkeypox is a sexually transmitted infection, and it is not. It is spread through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, respiratory droplets as well, uh, even through sharing bedding and clothing. High fever, aches, and rash with lesions, hallmarks of the smallpox-like illness. I counted more than 25 at the peak of it, and some of those were excruciatingly painful. Matt Ford, one of the first to publicly speak about having the virus raising awareness through TikTok videos. I had it for about three weeks and three days was my total recovery time, and I had really intense flu-like symptoms. Long wait times as people line up to get a shot, like in Encino. Thousands of more doses expected in August. The people who should be getting in line, uh, people who are high-risk contacts to people who have a confirmed monkeypox case, uh, also people who uh, have a history of gonorrhea or early syphilis within the past 12 months. Yes, yeah, so eligibility is expanding as well as access. More doses coming next month. And the city of West Hollywood announcing that a mobile vaccination clinic will be coming here to West Hollywood. That's the latest here in WeHo. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. All right, Carlos, thank you. For weeks, L.A. County public health officials have been considering a return to indoor masking to slow the spread of COVID-19. But a new mandate may not happen after all. L.A. County's health director, Dr. Barbara Ferrer, says they are still monitoring the data, which has been trending down. She says they'll also keep an eye on hospitals to make sure they're not overwhelmed. Several cities, including Beverly Hills, Pasadena and Long Beach, have already come out against imposing a new mask mandate, saying they will not enforce it. If you're not feeling that, that you need to wear a face covering, that that's okay too, but Beverly Hills is not going to be the one that's going to be enforcing it. Well, today's data could change things. New cases are more than double what they were yesterday, and the percentage of people testing positive is also higher than at any time over the past week. A decision is expected tomorrow.
After five days of treatment for COVID-19.